Granddaddy Mix here. This is a surprise video to me. I wasn't expecting this. I went shopping today. I met a special person named Crawfish Danny. Crawfish Danny is the reason for this video. Crawfish Danny supplies crawfish anywhere from Tampa area, Citrus County, down to Miami. You want crawfish? You want big crawfish? Crawfish Danny. And he delivers. Okay, so that's the reason for this video. I wasn't expecting it. And crawfish season is like February, March, and April. And if you get into May, it means it's still cold in the South. So check it out. I gotta make everybody in the family happy tonight. This is an unexpected granddaddy mix adventure because the adventure is like in my head and, and when I see seafood, I've gotta have it. I've always been like that. I, I've driven a semi truck just to go get seafood a thousand miles away uh, from home. I've gone to Maine to get live lobsters. I've gone to Louisiana to get fresh shrimp off the boat. Speaking of shrimp, the shrimp we have today are less than 24 hours old and I want to show you what I'm getting into tonight. So come on over to the table if you can't see it with me. All right, because you're like, what's behind him? I can't see. Of course, I'm going to bring you over to see it. I know you got to see it. So check it out. This is for my crawfish boil that I'm going to make. I got fresh corn on the cob. I like to do celery. I have no celery. I got baked leaves, lemons. We're going to cut them in half. Red potatoes, whole onion. I got sliced up leftover onions. Got my bay leaves, sausage, and some liver um, dumpling sacks. And I got, I use the cayenne pepper just ever so lightly. Just because I have, I don't have whole garlic or I would use a whole clove of garlic. Chop it in half and throw it in the pot. I wasn't expecting to have crawfish tonight. I don't have any of my ingredients ready, but I got crawfish. Because uh, granddaddy had to have crawfish. Because I had an opportunity to get crawfish and crawfish presented itself. So this is what we have. Now I got this real, this is all you really need. To have a crawfish boil. There it is. Pro boil. You're a pro. Everybody's a pro. You can buy this online. I'm sure you can buy this online. You use like three, four, five tablespoons, depending on how much water you have. Throw it in there. Look at these ingredients. <coughs> I got the mustard seed. I've always used mustard seed with seafood uh, to give it a little flavor and spice. And it's probably going to be about two tablespoons in there. Uh, the garlic paste, I'm going to probably use three to four tablespoons in there. Now, a whole bag of already pre-cooked jumbo peanuts. Okay, nutrition value, you throw that whole bag in with your boil, people are peeling the, 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 the shrimp, the, the crawfish, they're biting and chewing. Give them some nuts to hold in their hand. Chew them and bite them and suck the juice right out of them because you're sucking the juice out of the shrimp. You're sucking the juice out of the crawfish. Why not? And hollow painters, painters, Halloween, oh, oh my gosh. Man, you're going to keep this, aren't you, Mink? Halloween of peppers. <laughs> I got it now. Okay, Halloween of pecker. Peppers, say it right, Jim. <laughs> Halloween of peckers. Where am I coming up with this, Dad? I must get this from my mother. Anyways, so let's... Should we cut start over? I don't know. We got our peanuts frozen. They're gonna go in there. We're gonna make we're gonna make crawfish. Now, not everybody likes crawfish in the family. For the ones that don't, check it out. A fresh bag of shrimp here. Probably about three three pounds I'd say. And that's not even 24 hours old. I don't know, it's gonna be fresh, granddaddy. And Old Bay seasoning, because the wife likes Old Bay from Maryland. Maryland, that's like a, a hocus pocus place where uh, pixie dust and little angels are and butterflies. No, I'm kidding you, Maryland, but it sounds like that. But it actually is a state in the United States. Oh, 
Old Bay seasoning. But we forgot. We're going to use Iron Maiden Trooper to beer in this boil. And some water and some chicken broth. The more beer, the better. It does flavor it. It gives it a nice grainy feel as you're sucking on those heads of that shrimp and uh, the crawfish and, and it's going to soak into the onions and the potatoes. <clears throat> if you want to add hot sauce to it, I'd suggest that. And we want to be a little healthy tonight, so you know what we're going to do? Tuna! Then there's tuna! Then there's tuna, 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 tuna! No, I didn't say Luna, I said tuna. For my tuna seared, now, if I got any bad pieces, I cut it off of the side because it's been in the freezer for like six months to two years. I got my soy sauce. I like my soy sauce. Sesame oil. Dip that in there. Oh, so wonderful. And black pepper. The crunchy one. Chunks. It's got to be the chunky one, not powder. Who doesn't like wasabi? I've had wasabi candy. I've passed out wasabi candy on Halloween. If you come to my house on trick-or-treat night, I'm going to give you wasabi candy. <laughs> and oh yeah, good stuff. I like wasabi candy. You should like wasabi candy. And I got my seaweed that I buy about 10 pounds at a time, frozen in a bag, and I separate them into smaller bags and freeze them. And it's only a dollar a pound, and you can get, like, seaweed that's soaked in sesame oil. So that's what's on the uh, menu. This is a surprise, but wait. There's more. We haven't seen the crawfish. I forgot to show you the crawfish. Who wants to see the crawfish? That granddaddy Ming spot. Stay tuned. Like, love, and share. And subscribe to the granddaddy Ming show, please. Thank you for watching. I'm back! To show you something important, can y'all see that? That, my friends, is a 40 pound sack crawfish. I'm the kind of guy, if you want a guy that's going to be buying food like that, more than plenty full to feed a family, friends, and a family. That guy has a cooler. He always travels with a cooler. That woman travels with a cooler with ice on it, or the guy travels with a cooler with ice in it. They're gonna keep their food fresh and good for you, for me, for everybody. I took the cooler with me. I had the ice with me. That's, they wouldn't even fit in my lunchbox. It was open, but I put towels on top of it, wet towels with salt, rock salt on top, or crushed salt, whatever salt you can get, keep it fresh, bring it home, and in the fridge and freezer you go. Oh my gosh, we're on the air. Hi! <laughs> I got water. It's simmering. It's hot. I didn't really touch it that time, thank goodness. But it's hot and it's ready to go. So we're gonna put some ingredients in there and I'm gonna show you each one of them. We're gonna make basically the virgin style without the spicy, cause that's what my wife, Julie Minx, likes the most, is shrimp that isn't too spicy. So we're gonna get the broth ready now for the flavor of the shrimp. No, voila! My red potatoes, my sausage, my liver balls, red potatoes, sliced onions, corn on the cob, bay leaves, and onions. That's all going in the pot. Voila! Mmm, mmm. Mustard seed. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'd say a teaspoon. I would normally use garlic, but I don't have it. Whoa! <laughs> Holy Toledo. Toledo, Ohio, that is. Don't do that, kids. Did he just put a whole tablespoon of that in? He putting two tablespoons in there. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Run to the hills. I got my Iron Maiden beer. It's made in Shearshire, England. Mm-hmm. 
only 4.7% alcohol. We won't even taste that. Oh, that's strong beer. We gotta make sure that that's fresh. Mm -hmm. mm. The aroma, good beer, strong flavor. Bubbly, like champagne, but with more taste. The rest is going in there. Oh my gosh, I hope you saw that bubbling. So then what we're going to do soon is we're going to put the shrimp in there after it simmers and flavors for about 20 minutes, half hour, and then boom, the shrimp are going in there. Fast and furious, and then plop them right back up. Sprinkle some Old Bay seasoning on top. Serve away. Mm -mm -mm. Then the crawl dads are going in there. Crawl daddy. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> crawl daddy. <laughs> Cook away. I did use a little bit of chicken bouillon just now, just just before we went back on the air. I used three tablespoons of my favorite chicken broth. Now we're going to put the shrimp in. You can see we're boiling away. Oh my gosh, technical difficulties. Did y'all see that? I we're off the air. And we're on the air. I don't know. Mindy, don't keep this. This is so unorganized. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we back? Oh God, I hope you can see the pot. Yeah. Technical difficulties. Just a screen, nothing to see here. So, I'm gonna put the fresh shrimp in here, less than 24 hours old. Caught last night, 50 miles out to sea of uh, Homosassa, Florida. So I got my shrimp here. Ooh, nice bag of shrimp with the heads on. You want to see a close up, don't you? Yeah. There we go. Shrimpy. Good bait, too, to catch fishies. Juicy. We're going to pluck that in. We're gonna, oh my gosh, we're going to plop them all in. Yes. Yes. And another bay leaf. And the juice. Got to put the juice in. I want to stir this up a little bit. Mm hmm. They're turning pink. They're, this doesn't take long. I mean, do not do anything but watch this. As soon as they turn bright pink, bright red, we're gonna let those juices from the shrimp soak into the water. Cause them crawl dabs are gonna go in there and that's still gonna flavor everything. If you got mussels, clams, oysters, throw them in there. This is like the giant gumbo. Any, any meats that you got, throw it in there, gumbo. And then you make rice, and then you add that to like a rice lighter and some, uh, what is that stuff called? Orca. Orca will thicken all of this up and you'll have like stew, like a seafood stew gumbo. Throw some beans in there, not green beans, but some like red beans, white beans, black beans, yellow beans, any kind of beans you want to put in there. Okay, so our shrimp are done. And even when you pull them out, ah, they're going to continue to cook because they're so hot. You don't want to ever overcook shrimp because it'll be mushy and no fun at all. That's without any spicy stuff or Cajun stuff. I want to take a taste of that and explain it to y'all. Oh, look at look at my bowl full of shrimp. Now what are you gonna do with that shrimp? I'm gonna sprinkle the old bay on top. Julie Mix loves this stuff. Well, don't smell it. You'll probably start sneezing. Peel and eat shrimp. Dip it in butter. Dip it in cocktail stuff. Has it with a glass of white wine. Enjoy. Let's peel it in front of you, all right? So we'll do that. Ah, hot. So hot, so hot. 
Ah, so hot, yes, hot and fresh. You can dip it in water to cl help clean it too. So we're gonna put a little of that old, old bay on there. Granny's gonna try it. Soft, crunchy, not overcooked, undercooked. You could put soak it in ice water to cool down the, the, the cooking process, but probably as they get chilled and cool down, you're going to tighten up and get crunchy as well. Let's actually see what we got here. So I got my potatoes in there, got the onion. The onion is 30 40% soft, which is good. 100% soft, everything's going to be flavored. Oh, lemony. Too much lemon. Onion, lemon. I'd get rid of probably and only use one, on, uh, one lemon. One le lemon only, maybe a half a lemon. The, the lemon is, is definitely there and powering a lot of things. You don't taste it in the shrimp too much, but the broth, yeah, something's got to kick that out of there. We got to give it something else. The meat might be able to change it, the flavor's there, but the lemon's got to go. So much so that I think we're going to take a lemon out. I don't want the lemon in there. Let's get rid of some of these lemons. Put this in our serving area. Got my peanuts. Frozen, right in there. Got my Cajun powder. Hopefully I don't sneeze for two hours. Mmm, that was definitely one teaspoon. We're gonna close that up, and we can get dangerous. We're gonna grab a new spoon. We got a crab boil right here. Crab, crawfish, seafood. One tablespoon. That's four tablespoons, because they're overflowing. That's six. And that's okay. Mmm, the aroma. It's probably filling up the house, too. You do this in a cold weather climate, you're going to dig it. Oh, the lemon is still there. It's knocked out by the spiciness. And uh, you get the onion, the garlic. You don't really, now the meat's showing up, but you don't taste uh, the seafood potency yet. No peanuts yet, they just went in. That peanut oil will start dominating. Who wants to see the crawfish? That's what the crawfish do. It's crawfish time. What time is it? It's crawfish time. So we're gonna take the live crawfish out of this bag here and put it into this basket here. Are you guys ready for this? This may be intense. Ready? What do we got here? What do we got here? I got wet salted towels and ice in the refrigerator. Oh, that's a crawfish. So that's what they look like. And anywhere from Louisiana, Mississippi, southern Alabama, basically almost uh, 100 miles inland, uh, these guys come out of the mud uh, into the freshwater swamps and do their thing and then go dig themselves back in the ground and they don't come up again until springtime. So down here in the south, uh, Louisiana, a little bit of Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, 100 miles north of the Gulf Coast, uh, these guys are thriving away. And they love it. Oh, look at this guy here. Oh. I get ready for you. The, war the, the warmer they get to, they're just going to... They're gonna wake up and they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be fighting. Right now, they're probably about 35, 40 degrees. Otherwise, they'd be like, put them up, put them up, put them up. 
All right, we're gonna put them into the boil. Who's ready? Uh-huh. And cooking away. Stir them up a bit. I would say 20 minutes, 30 minutes on those guys. Way it's looking in the pot? Heck yeah. 20, 30. We're gonna cook, the, we're gonna sear the tuna now. So this is my tuna. I got my feed the dog and the kitty pieces off to the side. I got mommy and daddy tuna right there. We gotta flip it right now. Sear the tuna. Voila. I hope you're seeing this. Wow. As I get splashed in the face with hot grease. All right, uh, I used peanut oil on that. No seasoning at all. And um, boom, we are about done. Done, 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 done. Fire is off. Done. I'm gonna put the black pepper on there. Black pepper, black pepper, and serve. I'm gonna slice it up nice and thin. Granddaddy Ming's trying his tuna. We got my sesame oil. We got a little bit of wasabi. These are my chopsticks. Mmm. Mmm. Wasabi! Oh, I hit the nose. That's good wasabi. Always refreshing. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Some of the seeds like, oh, ah. Mmm. It's like a brain freeze. Wasabi! Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Granddaddy makes all X wasabi and tuna. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, and <laughs> fortunately, I have this reaction just about every time. <laughs> and I have been for quite some time that I've had wasabi. Oh, we're cooking away over here. Look at this. Are you getting this? Oh, it smells very earthy. Earth. Very natural, earthy. Mmm. Just look at that. Oh. Very earthy. Lemon's gone. Oh. Tent, very small tent. That lemon is out of there. Um, the boil and the earthiness of the the ground and the crawfish. Oh, I am gonna enjoy this. We should do one together. So you wanna know? Ah! Suck on the claws. Who's that special guest? Come on in. How's it looking here? She's hiding. It looks good. It smells amazing. Isn't she gorgeous? She puts up with me buying like a whole refrigerator full of seafood. You know, and she's going to eat like less than 1% of it. But, well, at least the crawfish. Now, if I did that with Maine lobster, uh, I think she'd eat like uh, a little bit more than 1%, wouldn't you? Depends. Thank you. Thanks for helping out. Crawfish out of there. I peel the top layer off right there. The top layer off. And then I de-vein de it. Because there's a vein there. Right there. No. The poopy. No poopy allowed. So then, I got a yellow mustard. I take the yellow mustard off. And there, if you want to dip it into the fresh broth, go ahead. Mmm, very good. Yes, this really is what we do in the South. If you want juice, it's a little dry. 
this is your flavor right here. This is what we do in the south. They actually suck on the heads of these crawfish to get the leftover juice out to make your food like a sauce. That is reality. Thank you for watching the Granddaddy Mink Show. If you dig this style, if you love the Granddaddy Mink Show, if you love the Mindy Mink Show, if you love the Larry Link Show, please love, subscribe, and share, and sh trade all these uh, recipes out there. Share them. Talk about us. Oh my gosh. And I, I'm trying the best. Uh, here I am. Here, and, and I'm sharing my passion in the kitchen to your kitchen so that everybody in your kitchen and your family and friends can appreciate you at a more affordable way of doing things and less energy and more in the mind and your soul and everybody is relaxed and the family is happy then we have achieved something together Mwah! thanks for watching granddaddy makes here